This is Jeremy Tesmer with SGTV, and today is the opening day of Inga Gajita's second solo exhibition at Sullivan Goss. It feels to us like a fitting keystone for a year in which Inga has grown so much in her career. Not to bury the lead, Inga got the news about a month ago that she will be showing with 41 other artists at the National Portrait Gallery in Washington, D.C. next year as a finalist in the Outwin Bukever Portrait Competition. Her wonderful news follows on in a year in which she also got first place in an exhibition at the Wismont Ridley Tree Museum and the Mayor's Award at an L.A. Art Association exhibition. About this incredibly bright and beautiful new solo show, the title, Young Sparrows, refers to daughters, where her first exhibition with us, Rebel Women, referred to women of all ages. Inga's project, Venerate Women and Now Girls, continues on. And who are these young women that Inga has labored so mightily to build from used skateboard decks? Sky High, seen here, is a portrait of Momiji Nishia, the first ever Olympic gold medalist in women's street competition and skateboarding. She was just 13 when she won. She is surrounded by purple tulips, a flower that symbolizes reaching toward the sky. Tree of Life shows the intent and determined face of Greta Thunberg, the Swedish activist who has taken on the whole world to combat climate change. Thunberg was just 15 when she first stood outside of the Swedish parliament demanding action, and 16 when she spoke to the UN. Little Sword is a portrait of Malala. It is not Inga's first. Malala is the Pakistani woman whose passionate advocacy for women's education in a society and culture that punishes it made her a target of the Taliban. They shot her in the head when she was just 15. But Malala survived and doubled down. Now a graduate of Oxford University, she helps lead a foundation dedicated to female education. Basha Posh, Daughter You Will Be My Son, is a conceptual portrait. It references a cultural practice in Afghanistan and Pakistan of designating one girl in rural families who have no sons as a kind of honorary boy. They can dress as boys and go outside unaccompanied and even go to school until they reach puberty. Some resist the return to confinement, which Inga admires. Its inclusion in the exhibition will probably be a wake-up call for some, as it was for me. Windflower is the title of Gajita's portrait of Millie Bobby Brown, the spectacularly gifted 17-year-old Spanish actress who many will know from the hit show Stranger Things. Her visibility led the UN to name her the youngest ever ambassador for the United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund. And on the title wall, we see Lifting Spirits, the artist's portrait of Amanda Gorman, the incredible young woman who read the inaugural poem in 2020. As you stare into the eyes of this intricate, complex, and resplendent portrait, the poet's line reminds us, for while we have our eyes on the future, history has its eyes on us. Inga's new exhibition celebrates the craft and fine art. It demonstrates an unflagging work ethic, a fierce determination, and the artist's ongoing commitment to stay true to her roots in her choice of materials. Most of all, it honors daughters with grit, courage, and diligence. Like them or not, you have to respect them. Inga Gajita, Young Sparrows will be on view from October 29th through December 27th, 2021. Please, come see it.